and I'm back. It's time to quilt this landslide quilt from the Quilts in a Jiffy. And as usual, I was considering doing Kona for the backing of this because Kona is the most affordable option and still be of quality, but I lucked out and we had more of this yardage. So my backing can match this here, which I'm super excited about because my binding is gonna be this orange because um, I got a yard and a quarter of that initially because that's what I like to do to make sure I have enough to do double fold binding. And when we had enough of this to be the backing, I knew it was meant to be. So I have to go piece this and I'm not sure just yet of what I'm gonna do for the quilting design. I do have one that I did on my um, my shark pillow and my Trixie pillow that's that crisscross kind of triangles all over. That's kind of the direction I'm leaning because since there is so much angular in this here and these big half square triangles, I think doing like a space pantograph might be a little much, but I don't know. Something about this just feels like triangles and and kind of very angular and kind of choppy to kind of just play with that. So I'm leaning towards a blue thread or that graphite like gray blue. I think, I don't know if I have orange. I'll have to look. I'm trying to use up my thread that I have because I've accidentally bought multiples of the same thread on occasion. So I really need to start using my thread stash app a little bit more frequently, um, but I am going to piece this backing. I'm gonna go piece some more batting because I'm working my way through that bag in my closet so I can get working on my bag that's over here. And then I will meet you at my long arm when we load this backing on. So I'm gonna go with this crisscross pattern. I think it's gonna look really good on here and also kind of help reinforce my crazy freaking side body. So I'm gonna get this placed, and stitch out a zone, and then quilt this little guy to its final form. slide Mandalorian front and then because our back is all printed it kind of blends in there but 
I use that sky blue thread so it kind of blends in quite a bit, but now we're going to trim up all this excess and get it bound so then it's ready to go. And we are landsliding on in to a finished landslide quilt. And I, uh, this just turned out so cool in my opinion and has started to change my ways about my like of half square triangles and how super cool they can make it look. Um, like seriously, who would have thought that just a big giant block and big half square triangles would make this cool fun quilt so here's that looking up close at the quilting that's that crisscross design one of my favorites I did it on my Trixie pillow and I think it just adds a little bit something to this that orange binding is just a nice little pop I can't remember if I mentioned it before but for quilting thread I use that cloud blue that I've used in the past and I even use it to top stitch my binding and it looks super cool. The other thing I realized with this quilt, I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out, but when, for the most part, when you have the two pieces that are, um, it says 54, but I play it risky and quick, um, with the fabric um, or a couple inches bigger than your quilt, usually these are about 40-ish, and so it ends up being about 42, 45. And uh, when you have the full width of fabric plus the little bit you need extra that goes into that second piece, so usually these are about 60 in length, I think this one was 61, you get left with a big enough piece that you can cut down and use as a pillowcase body. Like, I don't know what took me so long to figure that out after doing all the three yard quilts last year. It was one of those things as I cut off the batting and go, I wonder. And I wondered correctly, because I have a pillowcase body that's gonna match this quilt. I just need to get something to be the cuff. It's probably gonna be, um, if I can find this bright orange Kona, because I didn't have enough of this. I used everything that there was of this to be on there. But I don't know what, I don't know what happened. And so super excited that this will have a matching pillowcase to go with its coolness. And so with that, we're gonna go outside do a quilt drop and get you some photos of this so you can ooh and ah at it as much as I am with it being here in my sewing room with me. This is probably gonna be a hard one to, to give away, but I know it's gonna be well loved by whoever gets it because ugh, I'm obsessed with it.